वेलकम फ्रेंड्स अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इगोडिसिटी ऑफ रेंडम प्रोसेस विच मीन्स a random process xt is ergodic if all its statics can be determined from the sample function of the process that is called as time averages as we have already discussed in last video lectures that the properties of random process are statistically computed using expectation operator also in order to find expectation of random process xt at a particular time t suffix k then the random process xt is observed at that fixed time t suffix k and we get a random variable that is x function tk or small x function tk so to find statistical properties of random process there is a requirement of two averages where expectation operator is used and these are ensemble averages and time averages here the ensemble averages are independent of time where time averages are continuous sample function so first we discuss ensemble averages here we consider a random process xt which is stationary with n equi probable realizations that is in the form of indexed ensemble denoted by capital x function t comma s suffix j or simply written as small x function t for j equals to 1 to n now to find mean or expectation of random process xt we fixed a time to t suffix k that is called as random variable and hence independent of time so the expectation of e function xt k is equals to 1 upon n summation of x function t k for j equals to 1 to n here the summation of x t k represents the ensembles that is a set of n random variables and the second moment of random process x t is represented as expectation of x square t and it is equals to 1 upon n summation of x square function t k for j equals to 1 to n now here we note a point for wide sense stationary random process expectation of x function tk and expectation of x square function t suffix k are independent of time t suffix k so this is about ensemble averages which is independent of time but in actual practice the approach to solve problems of random process we require time averages the time averages are the continuous sample functions which is obtained generally from one of the sample function say x function t or capital x function t comma s so the time averages is denoted by e function x equals to limit t tends to infinity 1 upon 2t integration of xt dt taking limit minus t2 plus t since the time averages is the continuous sample function so here we use an integration so these two averages that is ensemble averages and time averages are used to find the statistical property of random process now when the statistical properties of the random process xt does not change with time then it is expected that the two averages that is time averages and ensemble averages are identical so in this case random process xt is said to be ergodic also we can say that random process xt is said to be ergodic if all its statics can be determined from a continuous sample function called time averages also in most practical applications wide sense stationary processes are assumed to be ergodic where the time averages and expectations are used interchangeably also we note a point all ergodic processes are stationary processes but it is not necessary that all stationary processes are ergodic now if we consider random process xt to be ergodic 
then its autocorrelation functions measures the regularity of occurrence of a given signal which is given as r function tau equals to expectation of xt into xt minus tau and in terms of continuous sample function autocorrelation r function tau equals to limit t tends to infinity 1 upon 2t integration of xt into xt minus tau into d tau taking limit minus t to plus t here xt is a sample function of random process capital x function t now as the autocorrelation function rx tau increases there is also increase the regularity of occurrence of a given signal so the concept of ergodicity is very important because in practice we do not have a large number of sample function for which ensemble averages could be computed so if the random process is found to be ergodic then only one sample function is needed and through which we can compute ensemble averages in terms of time averages so we can say that all ergodic process are stationary process but all stationary process are need not be ergodic similarly all stationary process are practically treated as wide sense stationary process that is a type of random process